Until a few months ago, Yakubi was a Christian village in the predominantly Sunni Muslim province of Idlib in Syria. The majority of its residents fled because of the war. Out of the thousands of Christians who used to live here, only about 200 remain. And the change is visible. Many of their homes are now being used by the internally displaced from nearby areas. And other villas are now bases for opposition brigades. The opposition says they have permission from the village mayor to temporarily use the abandoned homes, but his opinion carries little weight now. We weren't able to convince the Christians in this town to speak to us on camera. They told us they're afraid. Some of them say they have relatives in government-controlled territories, but they're also afraid of a divided opposition. They told us their worst fear today is the fact that there is no authority on the ground. At least not a clear authority. Islamic forces and the moderate rebel factions fought this battle against the government together. But when it comes to deciding the next step, there is little they agree on. Although the village is now free from government forces, divisions are deep. This man is still scared to show his identity because of the opinion he holds. There are revolutionary forces who are not united, so we are trying to agree on forming a court to impose law and order in this region. The court will follow civil laws. A member of an opposition Islamic group who disagrees is happy to show his face. We already have Islamic courts. We won't accept laws created by people. There are already laws in the Quran. In this village, like most parts of Syria, the debate now is whether the future state will be religious or secular. It is a debate that Christians don't seem to have a say in, and it is a debate that not just worries the minorities. Our revolution is somehow in danger. There are some problems and different opinions. There are some who are exploiting the vacuum, imposing law and order will not just help the Christians, but all communities. The story of Yakubiya is more than a story of a Christian village. It is the story of Syria. The battle was to restore law and order, but it is the nature of the law and order in Syria that is still a point of disagreement. And those who fought side by side against the state now fear there might be another battle ahead. Zana Khudr al-Jazeera, Yakubiya.